Welcome back to Zelda Link's Awakening. You know, I'm, I got a little bit of downtime, got some... Got some money, got some cash, got some extra rooms. Let's say we uh, visit Dante for a little bit. You got so much money. I know. Up, oh, up, oh, there's the rapids oh. ride. And that means the whole map is, uh, except for right here. It's curious. I don't even recall what that is. Huh. I don't even know how to get there. Huh. Well, anyway. Well, now that we can lift things, because we're big, strong, kid. I think we can do it. It's gotta go north. I, I knew it. Walk straight into your path. What a dick pickle. <laughs> Is that what he's called? No. I actually forget what he's called. You have you have keys. You have like likes. You have moblins and octoroks and dodongos and dick hey. pickles. Hey Miyamoto, do you really want to call this dick pickle? Hey, Mr. Aonuma. Are you are you really green lighting <laughs> yeah. dick pickle? Hey Mr. Hey Mr. Miyamoto, do you really want to call this dick pickle? And you see Aonuma going, no, no, shh. Stop telling what the- Ah, yes. Oh, That'll be the greatest innovation here at Legend of Zelda Incorporated. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. And thank you, Mr. Programmer. I would like to call it Dick Pickle in every language. Thank you very much. God damn it. Alright, got new rooms to add to the dungeon, so you got a little, ex little extra fun here. Got some new chambers. Alright, so, uh, range? What kind of dungeon are you gonna build? So the all the level ones are clear. Now we gotta have to do these level two. So Ooh. we got three. We got three of them here. Let's start with Key Hunter. So ha, so yeah. How do you want to do this one? Do you want to make this and I'll do it, or you want me to make this and you'll do it? No, oh, I can do it. Do what? <laughs> I'll play him. Okay. So let's set this up here. Make it dangerous. Gotta start with an entrance. Always start with an entrance. Got a new one here. That looks promising. We'll go with that. Bip. They're gonna... I'm thinking we connect this here. Alright, so... Get two here, one that goes out here. Got three of them now. That's a good one. Put that there. Yep. And maybe an elbow that'll take us up to it. I, I love the ability to mishmash different dungeons so we can go straight from sand to foyer. <laughs> Another elbow, I think, is in order. Now I'm just visualizing, like, <laughs> uh, Jimmy Power Gamer here is just taking his models and just going, BAM BAM! BAM BAM! Yeah! I made a dungeon! Alright. Okay. One of these. One of these. Maybe not one of those. <laughs> but definitely. But one definitely. Of these. All one of these. Oh, you're giving me crystal switches? Okay, fine. Oh, you're giving me a, a vacuum thing? Yeah, sorry. Alright, so then... Maybe one more uh, upper right hand elbow for the thing for the other room. Just to connect that middle piece. These right here. And then... A straight through? A new straight through. Yeah. Boop. And one more elbow over here. Like so, don't make it too challenging. It just makes me think that you're creating a character in Spore. Ah oh, yes, I'll give it 15 elbows, it'll be great. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all these elbows that I can give it. Well, you know, it's a joint effort. <laughs> wow! You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Okay, another pass through here. Yes, yeah, so this last chest over here. That's good. There we are. Then elbow up again. Oop. Hey, Doctor, I didn't know I was supposed to have this many elbows. Uh, what do I do if I have 15 elbows? Quit bitching. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. You have so many elbows. What do you mean? <laughs> ah. Right, one more. Give me a... Little, little fun Moldorm to deal with. Oh, both of these are actually pretty good, so I'll just go with that one there. Okay, I got it. And now for the boss. So, one more. Do it like that. Ah. And then, we got our boss room. Uh, which boss do you think you want to fight? Well, since you got to fight face, I will also fight face. Okay. Let's put him, like, right there. Sure. 
We have an elbow with Gotta some get, stairs. Get me like, some stairs. Right there. Perfect. Ta-da! Yeah. Maybe you can yeah. put it right down here to make it even just fit together even better. Oh, look at that uh, lighter that you made there. <laughs> Welcome to Zippo Cave. No! <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> All right, there you go. I get to adventure. Which means now you're in charge of commentary. Go for it, Mr. Fun Dude. So the current political situation of the world is... Hey, you're do no longer doing commentary, my fun dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think it was, <laughs> it was could that you, fast. Could you... Yeah, let's see. Throw him, up, throw him off a cliff. <laughs> what? Throw a little better. Throw a little worse. Shit! <laughs> God. Yeah, well. Watch out for that, Beemos! There, there we go. go. Yeah. I need to remember buttons on the Switch controller. I actually decided to give my uh, Xbox some love. All right, bring it. I've been I've been neglecting my Switch this holiday season. What? It's been mostly PS5 and fucking Steam playing Vampire Survivors. The new hit game. Just it's I just got a lot of buzz. Like five bucks, okay, won't be so bad. So I went ahead and picked it up for uh, Nisko and myself for Christmas. And well, that I, that I, could have been one of the best decisions you've ever made. I, I, I think we've fallen in love. <laughs> <laughs> I think I th really think we have. All right, let's see. There we go. There we go. More used to that. Right, nope. You, you need a key for that one. I do. I do. Oh, hello. I think I set it up that you probably gotta go left first, but yeah, get there. we'll see what happens. We'll get there. We'll see what happens. It's all right. We are both expert gamers, as you can tell by the last dungeon. Absolutely expert. <coughs> <coughs> see, we're even so gamer we choke on our own fumes. I'm choking on our bullshit. <laughs> Excellent. Got me a key there. I'm just gonna. Uh, See how many keys I can collect in this entire thing. Hey. I wonder how you get out of this dungeon. I don't get it. There must be some way out of here. Hold on, let me look up uh, Wikipedia here to see if I can figure out how to get out of here. Real brain teaser there. Wait, wait, I hang mean, on. I what just... are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. I mean, I you just are... placed it in a random place. You are some kind of jean -Yé. I'm. I'm very surprised that actually worked. Normally, when I place bombs, it doesn't work out for me. You're like, you're like Benoit Blanc. You're so smart. I believe we can place a bomb in some of the places to get where we need to be. There is a cracked wall on the northern side of this here route. <laughs> and in some of the pottery that's been strewn and powdered with such inelegant fashion, What's... there was a spare bomb inside of it. Now one could probably hazard a guess that you would take said bomb and put it upon this cracked wall. What's the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hear keys. Right. Gotta find the cheese there. <laughs> find the donut cheese. What's donut cheese? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Because I'm I'm trying to figure out what kind of donut and where the cheese would come from in that. It's where the donut hole belongs. You see, you see, the hole that belongs in the donut. The whole donut, the donut hole. It was in, it was right in front of me this whole time. The, the whole hole time. is right in front of me, <laughs> but it still isn't there. Yet I can see the nothingness that it offers. I can see the <laughs> hole for the donut hole. I'm gonna assume you enjoyed Knives Out. Oh yeah, it was great. Oh, it was great. <laughs> I just saw the sequel about a, yeah, a couple days ago. Oh yeah, how was it? Oh, oh, oh. good stuff. Oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Let's see. Try going left from the yeah. entrance there. It's your best bet. From the entrance? Yeah, oh yeah. You gotta go there eventually. I do. I do want to see if the nightmare key is in this. The nightmare key is always in the last chest you open. Always in the last one, so it'll be beneficial to... Play the dungeon, yes. Yes. Well, I guess he's not... Oh, there he is! Would you... Uh, all right. Would you? Link, you are our hero, and then you see this, and like, oh, well, maybe you need to take some lessons about a fight. She goes to a Craigslist ad, and um, just thinking, all right, we need a hero. I need a hero to fight the burger. Fight, fight the burger worm. 
Oh, Burger Worm, I didn't know it was you causing a ruckus in this dungeon. Rubble, rubble, rubble. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, oh. Now we're good, now we're good. There we go. Die out, that's my tail! He's looking, like, <laughs> at his tail, like, what did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh, one of the new ones. Yes. 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 Excellent, got another key. Now, I need to figure out... <sighs> Gotta hit the... Yeah, because it goes down. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. It goes down. Yeah. There we go. Uh... <laughs> no! Ah! You murderer! Okay, that was just open the door. All right, hopefully that'll be good enough for the crystal switches later, because I don't remember which ones you put in. It's a mystery. It seems to be a mystery that we need to figure out. Quite the conundrum. Quite figure <laughs> out which dungeon rooms are present in this labyrinth of torment. Labyrinth of torment. You know, I heard, uh... Last episode we did the face shrine. Ah! I dare say we have entered the heel shrine. <laughs> Wrestling term, anybody? Uh, yeah, well, whatever. Uh, we had, there was, uh, somebody who was doing an analysis of Knives Out, and, uh, they made a really good point. Uh, Benoit Blanc is real-life good as a detective. Not, like, fictional good as a detective. Because if you notice, there's a lot of things that he doesn't think about until somebody mentions it, like, like footprints. Tells me you haven't seen the sequel yet. I haven't seen the sequel yet. <laughs> well, doesn't it still apply, or does he become, like, Batman in the sequel? So, the movie starts with, uh, these four friends receiving a box. It's like a special kind of puzzle box. It's got several little children's games and stuff like that, and uh, these four friends solve it all over a Zoom call. And it's an invitation to uh, their rich billionaire friend's private island to, mm. to spend a weekend of fun. And also where you can solve my murder. Hmm. Sounds well, pretty cool. Well, Benoit somehow winds up with this box. So they, got, they get to dinner and, you know, he's about to set up the murder mystery. And so uh, he solves it immediately. <laughs> Oh well. Before, like before the murder even happens, he he solves it, like ruins the whole weekend. It was a bit it's supposed to take, <laughs> it's supposed to take the whole weekend. He solves it like immediately. I got it. And he's like, why the fuck you do that? It's like, well, think about it. You basically just set the stage for your own actual murder. Because all these people wish you harm. So now it's like. What's gonna happen now? There's a lot of misdirection, a lot of like, uh, ooh, maybe this is the way to, maybe this is the way. Oh, you never know. It's aren't we? It's 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 very good. I think my favorite part is whenever you get a smart film like Glass Onion, or uh, you get a a movie that it's very divisive, such as uh, Nope. Divisive. Uh, di I, I'm getting to something. Don't worry. There's How's a point. It's the fact that people with a very big audience do not understand the films and therefore may think it's bad. People didn't understand Nope. It seemed, it seemed pretty fucking straightforward to me. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who uh, didn't understand it and uh, therefore looked like an idiot on social media. Let's make a spectacle of their idiocy. Get, get, get it? Because that's kind of the point of it too. <laughs> spectacle? It's, come on. Come on. Oh, I love how... <laughs> uh, j and look, just figure out why Ben Charpio is uh, is trending, and you'll find out that he didn't understand Glass Onion either. He doesn't understand how mysteries work. <laughs> There's not enough. It didn't tell me what would happen, and it also did a misdirection. I hate it. Wait, you're telling me these two just play the game, and that's it? They just they just talk over over again. I don't understand. Oh, I don't listen to Ben Shapiro, so I can't really do a fucking no. It's, it's satirical, fine. parodical interpretation. Of no, that. it's all right. Just other uh, than oh, look how many dicks I suck. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just about to say, just start drooling out of your mouth and maybe uh, talk about uh, I don't know. Talk about the weather. Then yeah, go do while, 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 missing, but while missing every other word. Yeah, I, I can do that, I can do it for anybody though. Like anybody's like do I'm Ben Shapiro or like you know do look at me I'm. Uh, Fucking Anderson Cooper. Yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. 
Uh, look at me, I'm Ken Sweeney. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. That's the head of uh, Tim Sweeney. Sorry, Tim Sweeney. Yeah, the, please get it right. Thank you. He, he's the CEO of Epic Games, and he's a uh, fucking idiot. Oh, he's been saying a lot of great things about AI art. <laughs> a lot of bad How things about AI. How it's the future? Clearly, it's the future. AI art, which is now a, a majority of what populates Pixiv. He just says a lot of disparaging things. He's just, you know, not very smart. A lot of people in power aren't very- Probably talks loud, yeah. A lot of people in power aren't very smart, you know how it is. What are you talking about? They are the smartiest. Yeah, see, that's why I'm smart, because I'm not in power. <laughs> the more political power you have, the stupid are you- Jesus. Must must be on the uh, the f final, uh, final hits here. There you go, bud. And that should be it. Yay! Yay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember when I told you about the windfish waking up? Ah! Hooray! Yay! All right, uh, let's do one more dungeon. Except we'll switch the roles. I get to build you a dungeon. You make one for me this time. I hope you like oops all side bosses. <laughs> a thrill like that deserves something from my from my collection in exchange. Bam! Got you, friend. So it's basically a dungeon that has like a whole bunch of naked ladies in it. So uh, you know, use it sparingly. It's the best. It's you, you, you know the pleasure dome from Smash TV. I basically that, got it. <laughs> oh, never heard of that. I I swear I've heard of it once. I just can't remember what it was. Well, Smash TV was it's a twin like an early twin stick shooter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I know what Smash TV is. I just don't remember the pleasure chamber or whatever you the call it. Well, the story is. Uh, there was a final room in that game called the Pleasure Dome. Hmm. And you know, if, you, if you get a high enough score, if you do really good at the game, you'll get to go there to the Pleasure Dome! It's, uh -huh. it's, it's got a bunch of treasure and a bunch of babes and a bunch of rainbow colors, except that it wasn't there. They didn't, they didn't program it in. It didn't actually. So they, didn't, they didn't think that anybody would be good enough to play the game, but they underestimated the gamers like people oh. always do! And people got there and it wasn't there and they'd be like, what the fuck? So then later on, they added the little, you know, pleasure dome there, which is, you know, a rainbow room with a whole like, massive oh, point bonus. That's awesome. Let's see. Let's see, that has stairs. Let's see, what else is going on in my life? <laughs> Um, I wish to talk about my life. Vampire Survivors, Glass Onion. <laughs> that, that's about it, I'd say. We've done it. We have found out everything in UDJ's life at this very moment in time. Going through a lot of Persona 5 again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, it's, it's a great game. <laughs> sorry, I'm just giving the usual Twitter response. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you play a good game like Persona 3? <laughs> God, I still love that argument. I love how wrong it is. Well, that Persona 3 is a is a better game than 4 and 5. Correct. Um um hey, how about you take that hot take and you just go away cuz it's not right. Like b between 4 and 5. All right. You can you can make some kind of argument there, I'm sure. I could, but it would be wrong. It, 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 you know, you, you can defend it. Saying Persona 5 is better than Persona 3 isn't exactly a controversial take in my eyes. It isn't, no. Maybe maybe it's too busy, maybe it's too loud, maybe I like the characters better, because I like the characters in 4 a little bit better than 3. I mean, well, I like everybody in 4 and 5 better than 3. And <laughs> I didn't like most of the characters ah, in 3. Ah, come on, they're fun. But, yeah, some of them, they're kind of, you know... Eh, yeah. I, I do understand it, though. Uh, I do like, uh, when I was doing the LP of both versions of 3, uh, I got a bit, uh, got a bit of flack from, uh, hating on one of the social links, uh, specifically Nozomi, who is an actual terrible human being. You gotta remind me on who that is again, it's been a Oh, uh, he's the fat kid who, uh, decided, I, th I think his story is, uh, everybody liked his brother more, so he used, um, his brother dying as a way to become more famous. Basically a clout chaser. And, uh, yeah, he's, and then he realizes the error of his ways. I don't think that's true, because it's been a million years and I hate that social link anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Actual terrible human being, and I was told, uh, why are you hating? Probably because he's a terrible human being. Or is it because they're fat and they see themselves in him and they, uh, they relate to him or something? I'm a fat dude. 
I, d I, I do not see myself as a terrible person. Although I might be, I don't know. Well, I mean, let's not rule anything out! <laughs> let's, let's get it out there. I am, in fact, an awful individual. I am terrible. I am horrid at parties. And... I eat literal babies, sometimes mm -hmm. even toddlers. Yes, indeed. And uh, I, I once I think... actually had an opinion on the internet once. I think you need to fill in all the holes there. So I think for that one in- Do I really? I think that one in the corner there, just take that one with the stairs and move it up and then get a little bridge in between there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, there we go. Let's give you, let's, let's give you a little, little something to make you sweat. And then... I, I actually one. have to fill out everything? I think that's the challenge in this oh, one. shoot. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get you something. Because it's called Bombs Away. You're going to make a dungeon shaped like a bomb. Ah. You're, ma you're making bomb caves. I got... Yeah! I totally understand yeah. now. Yeah! Shit. Uh, d yeah, d it's actually, no, actually, no, that, that will work. Because if I put another stairway there... Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Uh, how about this? Got a better idea. What do you got? I'm going to... Well, well, first off, just just like just like you, uh, we're go we're gonna apply some elbows here. The power of elbows, man. We we are getting some elbows. Chris Hulahan room. You can go straight to hell. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna do one of these. We're gonna do one of these so right here. Yeah. That way, I can get a staircase. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. There, you go. there we go. Yeah. Right there, and I'm then... basically gonna have you go from staircase to staircase, figuring out, uh, eventually finding the boss. That's that's fine by me, man. I gotta go through all the all the dungeons that's anyway. Not so. a fucking staircase. This right here is a fucking staircase right here, my yeah, dude. That one. And then right here we can do we do definitely one of these. Uh, let's let's have you go the the entire spectrum here. Bam. Uh, what's wrong? Uh. You might have too many st Yeah, you've got a chest. missing staircase, so take that staircase in the corner there and remove it. This one? No. This one? Yes. Okay. How about... Put it with a different chest or something. Yeah, let's, let's give you a... Let's give you a... Nope. Little, what a dim. Little chesty westy here. Perfect. Now we're good. Enjoy right. my dungeon. Bombs away! Here we go! go! And he's off to a roaring start! Too hard, you do it. <laughs> I just made it! I spent you, you, so you, much you have time. bested me, my friend! <laughs> I, I, I cannot master your dungeon making needs. Three, two, one. I give up! Yeah! We've done it, gamers. We made something so difficult that it just immediately gave up. No oh shit, no oh shit. Okay. I think that was one of my gag uh, videos like a million years ago. I did a special guide on how to beat I Want to Be the Guy, and it was literally just showing my desktop and deleting the game. Well, because yeah. I thought I was funny back I, then. I mean, you've won. You, you, you've you uh, certainly put a, mi a middle finger to the creator's I, face. I did it. I didn't want to play the game that was near impossible. It's like, I'm not going to be a pawn in your little game, man. You can't, you can't own me. You can't, you can't trust the you system. You can't control me, man. I'm not going to be part of this system. <laughs> the moral of the story is you can't <laughs> trust the system. I love that song. Man. Some poser hands me <laughs> some birthday cake at a party. What you want me to do with this? Eat, Eat it. This Happy birthday to the ground. I threw the rest of the cake, cake too. too. Welcome to the real world, jackass. <laughs> This ain't my dad! This, this is, is a, a cell phone. phone! I threw it on the ground! <laughs> I just listened to that recently. I actually had- my mom was in the car when it came up on the playlist and she didn't laugh once. I was like, oh god. I was like, no, it's from an SNL sketch. No, please laugh. It's no, that, funny. That, 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 that's his shtick. Heard any, any uh, of their newer stuff? Like, he's got- I haven't recently. He's got this one song where he's like, you know, 
It's like, yo, you know who I am. And if you don't know, let me spell it out. My name is K-E-N-N-E-T-H-A-T-G-U-I-W-H-O. <laughs> this, this whole this whole thing I'm playing for you after oh. this. Yeah. The dungeon ain't shit, man. Look. I had to work with a couple things, a couple restrictions. They wanted me to make a dungeon that's actually beatable. Yeah, I say- Your dungeon's for protozoa, Niskelion! Alright, don't make me start a rap battle in the middle of you <laughs> finishing this dungeon, cause I will own you. I don't think we could do much in a rap battle. No, we, no, we couldn't. That's why I'm saying please don't can, make me can, do can, it. Can, can I write my line beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen those- like, really terrible, off-the-cuff rap battles on YouTube. I, I saw one part of, like, epic rap battles of creepypasta. Whew! You can imagine how well that went. It was, it was like, between, you know, like, Cupcakes versus Slenderman again. But it, it was, like, a kid doing it, so he's like, <laughs> I think one of my favorite ones is there's a video out there where He's not so much doing a rap battle as he is threatening to murder the other combatant. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Straight thug in the night, gonna end you. Gonna in the, in take the a, night. <laughs> to gonna take a spike in your eye, and then you'll fucking die. <laughs> yeah! Oh! oh! And then, of course, the audience... Actually, the audience is probably the best part, because they see that as a legitimate threat, too, where they're just like... Jesus, uh, fuck! Oh my god. Okay, and then they just keep let the, keep letting the guy continue. And it's just like, okay, well, that <laughs> was fun. And then somebody took the fun away. Let's go this away. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, another oops all mini bosses. Yo, you got one eye. You're gonna die. You make me cry with how ugly you eye. Eye? You make me scream like, I? Am I gonna kill you tonight? Eye. All in favor say aye. Those opposed can die. Then you flip the table and cry. <laughs> but I can't, because I'm shy. Because you can kiss your career goodbye. But that's not good of fly. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> the story of the very emotional rat battler. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm gonna hug you, give you a nice cup of hot cocoa! <laughs> Lay by the fire, watch a movie, talk about our friendship! Holy shit, Ned Flanders started rap battling, it's great. I got you a gift! I hope you like it! Howdly doodly, motherfucker! <laughs> I think you're a cool person! You're very important, <laughs> and everybody <laughs> likes it when you talk to them! Oh, that's definitely not about Homer. Bitch! That's definitely not about Homer. <laughs> Nice shot, nice about, shot. About Homer? Yeah, it was definitely not about Homer. Homer Simpson? Yes. <laughs> we'll draw some Simpsons clips last night. Got to Poochie. <laughs> hey kids, always recycle. To the extreme! <laughs> <laughs> this is unfamiliar. Where's this taking me? I think one of my favorite bits for Poochie is when they essentially write him out of the show. And then Poochie went to the moon and died. <laughs> Poochie's dead! I think that was one of the... Oh, that might have been one of the Treehouse of Horrors, because Itchy and Scratchy come through the TV. Yeah, that's that sounds right. Oh, right, yeah, because he kind of did come back for that as a little joke. <laughs> Even though they said that he would never show up again, ever. I well, wonder why. You're a little early, aren't I? Just a little bit. Should be one more slime. Oh, yep, there he is. Hello! Now, now, this is gonna be extremely confusing when you get a regular small key in exchange for, you know, not the big key. Or a dollar. Okay. Enjoy your dollar. Thanks for my penny. So, um, I'm gonna ask you... I'm gonna ask you something. Go ahead. Okay, you better be ready for this question. Okay, okay. Okay. Seven. Damn, he go, got me. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, did you have to work over the holidays? Like, uh, on the actual days? Uh, no. Really? It's kind, of, it's kind of funny how that works, because I, you know, I work in home healthcare, 
and the people I, I uh, watch went home for the holidays. That makes sense. And I was off on the holidays anyway, so it all kind of worked out. See, having to work in the service industry, you tend to work your holidays no matter what. And that really sucked. Oh, God, suck it, suck it. Fucking... Thank you. That's a brother. Now, so I went in on uh, on Christmas Eve, and I had already had one of my family Christmases that day, mm -hmm. and that was the plan. You know, hey, I'll I'll be there early in the morning. We'll get it done, and then we'll uh, then I'll go to work. I was so pissy that day that I didn't even like restock myself because I was gonna be the one coming back after Christmas. So it's just like, you know what? Screw my future self. I'm not gonna give him you know, anything. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun working the holidays. Even though they say, you know, oh, we'll give you holiday pay. It'll be totally worth it. It's never worth it. My heart goes out to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the second year I've had to work Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeesh. Yeah. Oop. Oh. Did they just, they just flash the pattern? It, I, I, I believe they did. So it's that one. Eh. So that one. Oh, PlayStation then, wants to tell me something. Oh, hello, PlayStation. Just got a notification from PlayStation. It's, it's, it's usually like, hey, you can get the PlayStation Plus games. Usually, lately it's been, hey, you can buy God of War Ragnarok if you want. I, I, think, I think it would have been really funny is that someone's hacked your account. What? Oh, come on. The very last Campaign one. ending soon. If I, it's like a PlayStation Stars thing. No. A loyalty program that they got going on. Join the loyalty program today to show how loyal you are to a product. Hey, good job. Yeah. I believe that's the big key. Oh, it's oh, stairs. Nope. That it's probably leads stairs. to the big key. That's right. All stairs. Oops, all stairs. Oops, all stairs. This will lead me to the big okay. key. And side bosses. Yeah. I don't want to leave me alone! What do you think the official name of those gloopy guys are? Besides, obviously, gloopy guy. Well, they're, they're either like, you know, just like something goofy like gloops. Or it's like some like, you know, oh, oh, th those are known as Marukis or something. Or, or, Jukios or something. Do you think Nintendo names things based on hoping that what they name their enemy never becomes a slur? I think that thinking about that would take way too much time. Yes, indeed. Because uh, there's, there's somebody I watch, and uh, they're playing Paper Mario. And the little star child's name is Twink. <laughs> well, that has changed over the years. That has a new meaning now. So I doubt they future-proof that. Yeah. yeah Congratulations! Big key. You got the nightmare key. I'm ready to do some big things. I think the funniest part is the guy who was playing it did not know what that meant. So, oh, uh, that, 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 that very poor in, sweet very summer innocent. child. Yeah, sweet summer <laughs> child. Very innocent. Very innocent. And thank God he didn't know. What a tweet. <laughs> that sounds like a South Park sketch. This is like trying to explain what a twink is. Man, what a twink. What a twink. Is it something made by hostess? No, Eric. I believe it's something else. Oh, actually, you can use your uh, your other key. To unlock that to door. Do, to do what? Look, it's for completionist's sake! No, I'm gonna take the key and show how flawed your argument is! Yeah! DJ <laughs> <laughs> just hurt my feelings with straight-up gamer fact! <laughs> gamer! God, I've never heard of... I've never heard of something so insulting, but it that actually isn't an insult. I mean, it doesn't work in any other uh, medium. No, it doesn't. It's like, cinephile! It's, oh, you got me. I watch movies <laughs> a lot. Watch movies like a boss! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but gamer, that, that has negative connotations these days. <laughs> God, why do you gotta be such a gamer, dude? It's just like... Oh, uh, yes, the, the, the gamer logic. You know how the it is. The fuck yeah. did you say to me? Did you say I enjoy my hobby? Well, I have you know I do. Well, I don't enjoy the the parts of my hobby that aren't part of yours. Ugh. I have a fucking opinion. What do you think about that? It's like yeah, you know, I, I used to really care about what people said like that, you know, because you know, early in the internet and all that. It's like no way, we is the best. PS3 is junk, you know all that. You, you had those loyalties, mm -hmm. as, as, you know. But I grew up. Now I really don't give a shit what people like. 
Yeah. And I would have thought that other people would have done the same. So, no. op opinions are still a thing that need to be accounted for. But there is such thing as a bad take. Like, laughably bad takes. They do exist. Alright, I think Hookshot's your friend. Yeah, but he's... Yeah, can't a little remember how to do this boss, actually. First, there we go. Wait. There we go. Now, uh, Slash is jugular. Yeah, 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 uh, I thought I could have one-cycled him. That would have been cool. Oh, well. Oh, Unfortunately... Wait, wait. Un that's a fake! No, that's, that's a fake! fake. Oh, he right. has dead eyes! No! Doesn't he explode? Yeah, he does. What a weird thing. Just like, oh, yeah, I made a copy of myself, and also he explodes. He's my cousin, you'll see. That's fake. Wait, why am I helping you? This is my dungeon. <laughs> because you want to see me finish so we can move on with the day. Yeah, fall down, dude. Go down the pit. Get hit by the tail. It'd be really funny. How about if I win instead? Okay, fine. You can do that, too. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you certainly told me there. Congratulations. Bombs away, you, clear! You have bombs away. And ironically, you didn't have to face a boss that had bombs. I don't even <laughs> think you even needed to use a bomb much in that one. Oh, wow, that was, that was, a, yeah, that was a weird dungeon. <laughs> a thrill like that deserves something from my collection. I was on my, the edge of my seat the entire time. Oh my god, Garfield, you're here to make dungeons for me? Hey, you know, I figure you gotta do something on Monday. It's oh, gonna be thanks. a disaster. Ooh, plus bombs effect, which means the bombs will drop from the ceiling. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, you had a deluge of bombs. That's a power-up? Yep. Oh! Or at least just a, you know, an effect you can add to the room for a little extra challenge, maybe a little extra bonus. That's pretty funny. Well! Now what? I think we've done about all we can do for today. Time to I'm go gonna, to the mountain, time to go to the mountain. I'm gonna delve into this map and see what we're still missing. Because I think we should be getting some of the, uh... You know what? Uh, we we should be getting a lot of the secret seashells. I think I think that should be our next thing. Okay. So next time on Zelda Link's Awakening Remake, we're gonna see if we can't find some more shells to get the sword. Give me some more pieces of heart. Dude, that's tight gamer. Yeah. Oh gonna, my gosh, I like it. Ne yeah, next time you can count on some intense expert gamer moves. See you then. Oh no. <laughs>